this chest holds a capsule. So they haven't really been giving us the best treasures as we've been going forward, but at least we get something. What the hell is going on? Anything else? You got anything to say about a key? Doesn't look like it. All right, move forward and take on this guy. Oh, don't just stand around, you landlubbers. Help out. Fine, I guess. Even though I'm your prisoner, I'll help you out. And finally, we do get the good level up after this fight. It took this long, and Surge still pulls ahead of everybody else. He, he's got the best magic stat, the best strength, best resistance, and he's got the most HP. He's the best character, what do you want me to say? I do like him. That's probably why he's required. Uh, Guile got a good level up. Glenn did not. Just resistance. And we get more bones. That's all that I've been getting off those guys. I swear they drop iron. What do I know? I need to talk to you about a key. I'm sorry, but I don't have the key. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. You have anything? No, nope. He still is not going to talk about the key. Some people just refuse to talk about the damn key. But everybody did. All right, more Wraith. With that Wraith out of the way, we can talk to this guy. By the powers, how did you guys get out? Ah, uh, forget it. We have more serious matters to worry about. Like a key? Huh? Now what? You can't get through here. Monsters are all over the deck. What? A key? Hi, mateys. Who's on key duty? Oh, I am. Is that the guy up top or the guy below? That was hard to tell. I think it's the guy up top. You want the key for the door downstairs, eh? There you go. And we received the key. Hooray. Another way to get on deck is by going through the arsenal downstairs and making your way up from the outside. I don't like the sound of that at all. You want me to repeat that? Uh, wow. I've never actually had an NPC go, what, again? <laughs> That's weird. You should be able to make your way to the deck with that. Please help out Captain Fargo. Captain! By thunder, I can't believe this is happening. And now it is time to backtrack. Open, open the door. What the hell? Do I have to back off and go in? I, what the hell was with that door? That had to be one of the most specific doors I've ever come across. All right, back through the vent. Because unfortunately, when things are flaming, you cannot move them. Not that you can move anything really in this game, except for a select few things, but still, like, you should be able to put that out. Fire is a deadly hazard on ships. You wouldn't necessarily think so, but it is one of the deadliest things. Because then you have to use water, and then you can be, you know, drowned in it and sink and all that good stuff. So, back to where we started. We can head back here, where we can talk to this guy again. Are you going up on deck? Then here, take this. And he gives us an iron. The only iron I've gotten since that first fight on board this ship. I'm very disappointed about that. I swore they could drop iron. And then we can use a key and head out. Yeah, I'll take you on my yacht. With him gone, we are free to head out here. They give a lot of money. And I could always use the leather, I guess. And once we're in the arsenal, we get bum-rushed by a new enemy. Just scurrying across the ground. These guys are unnerving, especially the way that they wiggle. It's, it's not good. Let's take a look at these deadbeats. And then you can see them wiggle. Oh, it's just weird. And they're going in, and... Wow, he did a somersault lick attack. That's weird. All right, let's go for the eagle eye on surge strategy because these guys are in eight colored black. It is really easy to uh, take them out with surge. Surge, go ahead and hit this guy for a fierce attack, and down he goes. Oh, look at him wiggle. You know, it's it's an unnerving wiggle. Oh, we already got him down quite a bit. There's the summer salt lick attack. Mm. Can you finish him off there? You can. Wow, Surge cleaned house there. Those guys were pretty damn easy. I mean, I was doing that same strategy off screen with the race and stuff, and it never worked that well. These guys are easy. All right, 350 gold. The recover all does the trick, and we got a hell soul and an iron out of that. Our Finally getting that iron. It's about damn time. So let's just head forward 
and see that they're taunting me with a treasure chest over there. Can't get it for the time being. We'll have to find another way. And here we can find this guy. In the name of Davy Jones, I can't believe you made it here. That's quite impressive, mateys. Would you like some of my homemade vitamin drink? Now, I would not recommend that you take this guy's homemade vitamin drink. Pretty much as a standard rule, I wouldn't accept it. Um, not only in game, but you know, in real life as well. Uh, but for the sake of uh, doing it, let, let's just go ahead and try it. Remember, kids, when somebody offers you some of their homemade vitamin drink, you say sure. Good drink up. And Glenn was poisoned. Huh? Well, it's still in the testing phase. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it has a chance to heal you, has a chance to get rid of status or abnormalities, but in my experience most of the time it uh, just does something like that so let's go ahead and cure that i do have lots of uh, elements to take care of that so just deal with that as necessary all right we'll just go past these guys there's really no need for me to take them on he's gonna follow me down the stairs until we get into a fight all right let's take on the wraith i guess outside the ship he's just by himself He's by himself, then we'll leave this in. All right, this guy's gonna be really easy, plus we have a new background there. I would like to show off. So let's go for the evil eye on Surge again. This guy is not going to make it. Just the bottom line, he is not going to survive here. The Wraith does not stand a chance against my buff Surge. 73 damage each time. We're getting close to starting to do uh, triple digits. I am a fan of that. It does take a while in this game to really start seeing a noticeable increase in, in damage, but we are seeing some here, uh, but still, like, want triple digits. All right, we'll head down here and take on the deadbeat. Oh, look at him move slow. That might even be more unnerving. Seriously, what the hell is going on with the damn deadbeats? And then we can head forward to find a, another one just slowly moving which is pretty creepy. Let's just keep going and probably find another one along the way. No, just the two. Ooh, I'm going to fade up there. But for the time being, we will head up where we can find... Oh, jeez, look at all these guys. All right, let me take on at least these two, and then I'll meet you when that's done. They do drop iron, which is nice. I do like iron. With that out of the way, let's head forward and fight this wraith that shows up right next to a uh, vaguely familiar looking thing over there. But for the time being, we will... Ooh, just the one. I was hoping that there would be a new enemy here, but uh, that did not happen. Can you take it out by yourself, Surge? Almost. Almost. Maybe we can still do it. He's got one, one stamina left. Is that enough? No, not quite. All right, Glenn, go over there and, like, poke it into his dead. Two pokes! It took two pokes for Glenn to finish it off, unfortunately. But down goes the ramp. Very easy enemy moves all by itself. Like I said, I was hoping that there was going to be a new enemy there, but unfortunately that did not happen. We did get a gravity blow for that. All right. Now let's talk to this thing. I recognize that guy, but more rates are going to show up. Yeah, they are. We'll see if the new enemy does show up here. I am a fan of it, or at least of showing it off. No, it's just the one Wraith again. Let's try to talk to this thing again. And off it runs. Damn it, I know who you are. I'm taking this guy. With a buffed surge, there really is no contest. I really do just blaze through the enemies here. Uh, but we can find a capsule in there, and then we can find you over in the corner. Off you go. I'm sure you guys recognize him, but for the time being, we'll head up here. Grab ourselves Graviton, which is something that I don't think we have seen before. Uh, it can go really nicely on Guile, if I remember correctly. Uh, we have quite a few Hell Souls and Gravity Blows by now. There we go, Graviton. Crushes foes with a super gravity field, and that will go with um, where Aqua Ball is. Sounds good to me. All right, let's talk to... Pip, as I'm sure you remember. Why do you keep approaching me? Can't you see I'm hiding? Hmm? You wanna know why I'm here? I'm a stowaway. I wanted desperately to see the sea. 
When I woke up, there were monsters all over the place. It really scared me. Anyway, I wanted to see the world because all my life I've been locked up in a web. Can you broaden my view of the world? And here, I don't think it matters. I think if you say no, he still joins. But I'm going to be nice and I'm going to say, sure, come along. Thank you very much. And Pip has joined the party. Uh, now, Pip is an interesting character. And because Pip is an interesting character, I'm not going to be using Pip uh, pretty much at all. Uh, I'm going to keep Pip outside of the party. Uh, we can take a look at the stats. Um... Uh, I, I'll have to wing it. Uh, 137 HP, that's kind of low at this point. Strength is decent, actually. Uh, resistance low, accuracy good. Agility is great. Magic and magic resistance is low. And innate color of white. Uh, does make it hard to use Pip in a party right now because uh, Surge is so strong. And also white innate color, so... It's, it's it's difficult to bring Pip into the party. Anything more to say? No, that is it. Uh, so the way that Pip works, you know, we'll save that for later. Uh, I will just say that unless you know how Pip works, I wouldn't recommend not using Pip uh, because it's weird. And, and we'll go over that in a bit. But we can head up here, get that treasure chest that we saw before, pick up a photon beam. I think that is new. Is it, yeah, because the other one's Photon Ray. So let's see if you have a slot for it. Surge Photon Beam. There it is. Uh, level 3, plus or minus 5. Bombards enemy with an extra powerful laser. Uh, good. Yeah, do I want to put it there? Do I want to put it there? You know what? I'm not using Magnify. We might as well pick up that, that spot since it's a valuable spot. But for the time being, we have made it to... A record of fate so what I'm going to do is uh, bring Pip into the party so we can take a closer look now uh, now that I know that I can easily take him out and move him back in so let's take a look at Pip Pip is a guinea pig experiment uh, stem recovery of 10 on Pip age unknown male origin Viper Man in the lab Height unknown, weight unknown, build unknown, dominant paw unknown. Uh, the reason that that's all unknown is because it can change. Uh, the way that Pip works is depending on which elements you use, uh, Pip can turn into two different things. I don't want to spoil exactly what they are, but if you use primarily red, yellow, or black elements with Pip, Pip uses those, then he'll go one way, and then blue, green, or white will go the other way. Uh, because of that, I'm not going to use them at all, uh, and we will save Pip for bonus videos and things like that much later on when it's easier for me to uh, deal with that. So. Let's see if uh, Pip even has a tech. I'm not sure. It, uh, Pip does. All right. Uh, what do you got there? You got Pounce. Hurl body at foe with all one's might. We will probably show that off, but I'll do it in a way so that I can just uh, reload as if I didn't do that. But that's Pip. Uh, oh, we didn't look at the uh, the equipment, did we? Pip uses a glove and uh, has mail. Notice that even at this point, they are giving us characters with bronze gloves and bronze mail. Even though we got Skelly with iron, that's because we probably weren't supposed to get Skelly that early. All right, let's go ahead and take Pip out of the party again. I do like having Glenn in the party. He's so good. But... With that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Cross. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my very powerful squad of Surge, Glenn, and Guile. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laugh. Hope you learn. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.